In all the world, he was the one man she should hate. Yet in time, her need for him was to become so great. Her life, her love, her happiness would depend on him. Oh, and you didn't come to the plane, and you hardly wrote all those months. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. You must have known how much I need you now. Darling. It's a fairy tale. It's as if, you know, Rock is, you know, the prince who's kissing her awake. And so people saw this, and women in particular loved this masculine ideal. In the 50s, particularly, he had a very safe sexuality, you know, that women could feel safe with him. But he did not have a dangerous edge that is what made someone a movie star, let's say, 10 or 20 years later. I mean, it certainly was not the dangerous sexuality that Sean Connery introduced or Clint Eastwood.